Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Seal Pathless Photo Shoot live behind the scenes at David Jackson Studios. David Jackson, what's up? Let's talk about Steel Panther. You did some album covers for them. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so I've done. I've been working with Panther for a number of years now. Um, that's because my my good buddy Jason Luckberg. He's he like helped me like get into the music industry, the larger national music uh, industry uh, doing bands. But he was um, brought me to Steel Panther, and I did that first shoot with them. So I've done. Uh, ever, ever since All You Can Eat, all those records, I've done all the covers plus all the promos. I didn't do the, the uh, their latest records called On the Prowl. <laughs> um, but I, I didn't do that one just because of time and, and you know, logistics and stuff. But um, I've done their stuff, and they, they that, that's another group that's very, they're very loyal to me. And I know them. I know, I know Styx. Uh, really well, Darren. Darren um, Leader. Good, yep. Uh, good friend. I talked to him. I talked to those guys, you know, text them, whatever. But they, um, I have, have a really good relationship with them. And I go the extra mile to make sure that their stuff always looks top tier because, you know, so we got to do it. That's a, a good example of a band that is being supportive back. Uh, Seal Panther did a, a series of, uh, I guess, live streaming events where they would interview a photographer that shot them at some point and yeah. then they would show pictures and you could order prints online and uh sticks the drummer did yours so yeah. he said you guys talked for i think 30 40 minutes yeah. and people could buy prints that that you shot of of steel panther i don't know if you know dave that um well, people can people can go on our site and get any one of these pictures. They can buy them and they come in in a really cool display yeah was that kind of a a nerve-wracking experience? No, not at all. Because <laughs> talk, talking to Darren's just like, <laughs> I was like, talking to my homie. No, not at all. Um, yeah, that was, uh, I think the sh I think the, that series is called Sex, JPEGs, and Rock and Roll. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's Steel Panther. Um, but yeah, they, uh, yeah, it was really cool that they did that because they were giving back, because they have so many photographers at their shows and so many photographers that they've made relationships with at their shows that they were able to give back. Mine was a little different because I have shot them at a few shows and I've done all of their promo content for years. I like it. Uh, at some point the question came up about how it is to shoot them. You're like, oh, they're easy. And it's like you can tell because they are obviously really good at posing for photos and they just have that, that whole thing down as far as what look. It's no work whatsoever. <laughs> just, you know, get the camera up there. It, it can be because, you know, you have you have to be able to get the shot, especially when they've been around and have been doing this for so long. You have to get the shot and get it fast because, you know, you can't sit on a photo shoot for nine hours. You know, let's get this done in two and a half. I think that's what Sticks talked about, too, during that was like, you got to be able to get in there and do it. But and the fact that they gave back to photographers was like, you know, fantastic of them, especially during, you know, the COVID-19 lockdowns and stuff you know you did two record covers for them you did all you can eat which was a lot of compositing work as you, you talked about when you were talking with sticks yeah and then lowering the lowering the bar i yeah. believe adam made a <laughs> he made he made a debut i also i actually actually did heavy metal rules too i didn't know that yeah which we ended up shooting in appleton and then we reshot it in um orange county but yeah so we did the three um the last one was yeah the the one so Lower the Bar was shot at Deja Vu in Appleton. So we sh I shot the cover there with local models and Adam was on the cover, which is great. And then um, Panther came to, they're playing a show on Green Bay. So they came, we did that photo shoot before their show and they we did it here. That's pretty cool. It's yeah. kind of getting Appleton <laughs> kind of mixed in with the, yeah. the national yeah. scene. Great. Do you have a album cover from Panther out of the three that you think turned out the best um lower the bar is probably my my favorite but all you can eat was the the funny thing about all you can eat is we had the album title so so jason and the band came to me with the album title and we didn't know we didn't really know what we were just throwing a bunch of ideas out and finally i came up with the idea of the last supper and they were like that's genius and i was like though i was able to make that mark by creating that you know, we shot that whole thing in LA. It's like 15 different pictures. All the food that's on the table on that album cover was shot here in Appleton. The background's 3D rendered. You know, that whole thing 
was one giant composite and it was cool that i that they took that idea and ran with it and i heard you know a bunch of different places like this has got to make this has got to be album cover of the year <laughs> you know which is really cool to see that happen um you know as i progress with my work i see that my work gets better so you know technically it's a great cover but then you can see how it like improves as you go down the road so i've had my hand in some of that creative process which is really really cool to be able to like help brainstorm that and come up with those ideas and put those pieces together and problem solve 